when I'm sleeping on them, I'm going to wake up a little bit like groggy and whatnot. And I'm going to see the glowing, the glowing ghost in the dark. And I'm going to be like, all is right in the world and then fall back asleep. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's new video. I'm Sam. Welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy. How's it going? Let me know what fall activity you are looking forward to most. Comment that down below. So I, for one, am really excited just just for it to be fall, honestly, just to be able to walk outside and breathe in the fall air. Yeah, it just gives me life and that is something I really need right now. Today's video, I have a Halloween haul for you. I guess you could say it's my first official 2022 Halloween haul, if you will. Stay tuned, I have a few more in the works coming up and whatnot. I'm really proud of myself because I did not get every single little thing that I wanted. Like. Go Sam, go Sam, like good job for being a responsible adult. These items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are from TJ Maxx. I got a few little other like side things that I wanna share with you guys, Michael's and Joanne's fabric. If you guys are new to my channel, like I mentioned, my name is Sam and I create just, <laughs> I'm just trying to live a spooky life. Why else am I on the planet if I can't be spooky? So if that's your thing, hit subscribe subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications that way you are notified when there is a new video i post weekly if you want to get to know me a little bit more you can check out my instagram if you're local to the area if you're in new england hey i'm in salem massachusetts also i recently launched my halloween happy patreon which i am so so excited thanks to you you guys, my friends, my supporters, my cheerleaders, I finally did it with the with the help of you guys and it's a work in progress. I'm really excited to start it, get to know you guys a little bit more, like just level up in our Halloween happy community. I'm really excited. So if you want to check it out, that link is listed down below. I know I'm going to get some questions in the comments. My sweatshirt, I'm so excited. I just ordered this last week from Lively Ghost. If you guys don't know who or what Lively Ghost is, I highly recommend them. They make like the cutest stuff. You can use my code Halloween Happy to snag one for yourself and to save some money. Link is listed down below. I'm gonna start with Michaels real quick because currently the Michaels that I went to, they had, they were slowly putting out fall stuff. They had a few Halloween things. Usually I'll buy stuff from Michaels like after the Halloween season and then right at the kickstart of when they start putting out their Halloween crafts. Like that's my, that's my treasure, my gold, my soft spot for Michaels. Like that's what I want from them. I found this just like in the normal sticker craft section. I did find all of these cute little stickers. These are from Recollection. A few little spooky die cuts that we have in here. And then we also have some adorable stickers. These little cute spooky Halloween dies. Just like little witches, some spiders, some spooky words, little ghosts and whatnot. So, so cute. I am really excited. I can always use these and I used a coupon that I had. My little first Michaels Halloween purchase anyways. So the next items are going to be from Joanne's Fabric. I feel like some people forget about Joanne's Fabric just because it is priced a little bit higher than I'm sure a lot of us want to spend but I'm telling you keep an eye keep an eye on them because they're always doing coupons and currently as I'm filming this video they had 40% off their Halloween stuff and then also after Halloween because no one really here's the secret no one really like buys too much of the Joanne stuff at the time because they think it's too expensive and they rather like get more items for less money somewhere else but Come Halloween, like they have really good sales and you can buy so many cute things. So don't forget about them. I found these little Halloween fabric scrap packs. They sell them as bundles. It's just like their scraps. I love having these in my craft stash because you can make all sorts of like little garlands. I want to make something for Raven. I love having her in like Halloween little scarves here and there. Try to give you a little closer look without having to unravel all of this, but... Just a lot of really cute fabric. We have some candy corn. 
This fabric is really, really cute. Some little skellies. And here we have a ghost pattern. We have like this little, um, I don't know, I guess you would call it plaid, although it's picking up as like, let me know. <laughs> and then this cute polka dot one. This is cute. It's like little, little spooky um, teeth. This one is so adorable. It's like haunted houses. And then the third one, it's like these little mini, this is like a mini print with little ghost and jack-o'-lanterns. Classic skull and bone. What do we got here? This is cute. Just little stripes, polka dots. And then this next one is a spider web with some stars. And then classic jack-o'-lanterns. They didn't have all of their Halloween stuff out, but I did find a few little things. I hope to do like a roundup of my wish list Halloween items. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Next up is this ghost tray. So adorable. This was from Joann's. I got this 40% off. Very, very cute. They had a few other little ceramic trays like a cat, also a jack-o'-lantern, and I think that's it for now. Usually jack-o'-lantern things are like my jam, but I, I've been really appreciating the ghost. You know, they're so cute. Sometimes it can be a lot orange in my room. So yeah. Also, I can use this in the kitchen. Put like my spoons that I'm cooking dinner with, you know, how, I don't know what those things are called, but it's like you set the, your little spoon on while you're cooking on the stove so you don't get the food there. Not sure if I'm going to use it for that, but if not, when all else fails, when all else fails, you can use these as candy tray, trinket tray, jewelry jewelry crypt where all of your nasty jewelry goes to die and then it gets faded and you don't wear it. You guys will be so proud of me. I saw so many cute mugs this past weekend. So, so, so many cute mugs. Even Joe was like, you need to get this, get this mug, get this mug. And I think I only got one mug. One mug? Two. Oh, there's the other one. I only got two mugs out of the 50 that I saw and wanted. We have this adorable jack-o'-lantern mug. So cute. I have a lot of jack-o'-lantern mugs, but this one just looked a little extra cheerful. And so I decided to snag that. I just love the color of it. It's just so cute. Nothing really else to say about it, but it's cute. These next items I'm going to share with you. We had a few friends who went on vacation and they were so kind to pick up some Halloween treats for me, and that is Halloween socks. I am a sucker for socks. There's not enough days in the year to wear all of my Halloween socks. I love them so much. Definitely such a mood booster. Comment down below if you agree. So these are high socks. Not like knee high, but I think, I feel like calf high. So these are just graveyard themed, as you can see. And then on the bottom, they have some little skulls. Bat pattern, super bold orange with your little bats on there. Just these little classic jack-o'-lanterns. So, so cute. Mike and Patty, if you're watching, thank you so much for the Halloween socks. I can't wait to wear them. Coffee. I can't tell you how excited I am for fall coffee just all fall treats in general i don't know if you guys know of bones coffee i discovered them first when i had one of my friends they bought me like a little coffee starter pack from bones coffee and it was like it was all halloween spooky themed there was like a candy apple one that was really good there was a s'mores one that was delicious there was a pumpkin spice one and then i can't remember the other one but it is so good i'm like obsessed and when you make it like it just smells the whole house i just remember smelling the coffee when i would make like a pot of it so this one is cookies in dreams i love the artwork i wish you guys could smell this right now because it literally smells like an oreo blizzard so so good and then this one is s'morey time so this is like a s'mores tasting coffee it's so so good this is the one i talked about 
that I had and that I tried. It's really good. And if you want to try some for yourself, you can use my affiliate code. It's Halloween Happy. I'll list everything down below and you can check them out. It smells so, so good. I only have a few more items in this haul for you and these ones I found at TJ Maxx. So I'm really hoping that I can find two items. I'm hoping that I can find the armchair. It's like the ghost themed one. It's like super cozy and comfy. I'm looking for that. And then that jack-o'-lantern, that fuzzy jack-o'-lantern little guy. He's so cute. I found the spider, but let me know if there's like something you guys are looking for that you hope to find. I love candles, as you know. I'm sure you can relate. So this is from DW Home. They always make different kinds of jars and they're just so spooky. This one is called haunted house i loved this one because of the topper on it it's so unique i just love it this is what it looks like i love it because you can definitely use this for something else after you're done burning it oh it smells so good but it's so cute so it's a three wick candle of course but i just love this so so much it's so beautiful so it doesn't give me the notes on this candle but like I mentioned, it's called Haunted House, like a smoky cranberry. Not smoky as in tobacco, but it does smell like outdoors, spooky outdoors, haunted house. Snagged the candle because of the topper. I thought it was so cool. And if you didn't want to display it on the jar, you can also put a hook on the back of this and then it becomes a piece of art that you can hang on the wall. So adorable. Not that I needed, not that I needed these, but I found, I found some pillows. It's actually a pillow set. I really loved at the time, but now that I have it, I'm like, did I need it? But I'm just imagining because I'm wanting to get, I'm wanting to get my bedroom. Like I'm wanting to make it cute again. I know you guys have heard me talk about that, but I was imagining these on like a very plush, spooky bed that I can just sleep and have the spookiest dreams on. Comes with two. You get an orange one and then also a black one. This is what that one looks like and it has these little ghosts on it. Nothing special about the ghost. I feel like this is like an image from Pick Monkey or Canva really but that's not the point okay. We were walking outside and I had my sunglasses on and I was looking at these pillows and I'm like why does it look like that? And then I realized that some of the ghosts on these pillows are glow in the dark. Come on now, how cute. When I'm sleeping on them, I'm gonna wake up a little bit like groggy and whatnot and I'm gonna see the glowing, the glowing ghost in the dark and I'm gonna be like, all is right in the world and then fall back asleep. The only downside is that the pillow, that the cases are not removable. I'm gonna have to treat these with extra care. Last item for this video, I think this is probably one of my favorites. It's gonna be one of my favorite finds for this year. Just like pretty much everything in this video, did I need it? Mm, no, I really didn't. I already have so many blankets, but add another one to the collection. Just add another one. I will say though, this blanket is different than my other blankets because all of them are like the fleece ones like super plushy ones but this one is like a good blanket and I know I say that about all of them but it has all of these ghosts on it and the ghosts are like super plushy they stick out a little bit it's like super textured a closer look and then on the bottom it has these little cute tassels that just look like ghost also I just think this will look really good on a chair, a couch. It seems pretty heavy duty as I'm holding the whole thing, but for the most part, it's pretty lightweight. Like I don't think it's, I wouldn't consider this a really heavy duty blanket. I can't get over the ghost. They're literally so plushy, so squishy. That's gonna wrap it up for today's Halloween haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget, you can check out all my social media links listed down below. If you wanna join my Halloween happy Patreon, see you over there. If not, I will definitely see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I love you so much. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!